Welcome back to TechPress. If you need to send professional invoices using PayPal, whether you are a freelancer, a business owner, or selling online, the PayPal makes it easier to create and send invoices in just a minute. So I'm going to be showing you how to customize and send invoices into PayPal. So first of all, what I need to do is to already have it signed in into PayPal and get started here into the home dashboard. So once you're logged in, you want to click into the option that says uh, pay and get paid. You want to click into this uh, quick access and I'm going to hit it into this pen. Now into this pen, we can see that we have all of this quick links. What I'm going to be doing here is to try to look out for the option that says invoicing and enabled it. Then I'm going to choose the option that says save. Other way that you can uh, find out of the invoices is to get started with the pay and get paid options or choose this option that says invoicing. So as you can see, here's my invoicing button. I'm going to click on it. And this will be getting us into the invoicing dashboard. So what I need to do, of course, is to choose the option that says create new. And this is totally depending on what you're actually aiming for, because we have creating an invoice, we have creating an estimate, we have a batch invoices, recurring series, a customer, for example, or creating a new item. This, for example, if you wanted to make some sales for a specific item using PayPal or you are having a recurring customer, so it's better for us to create a customer inside of PayPal. In my case, I'm gonna just create a really simple invoice into PayPal. Now, as you can see, we already have um, like a template of how we can actually get started. Here we have the template, we have the quantity, we can change it for amount, hours, or amount only. Here we have the currency, I'm gonna be changing this from USD. And here is a little bit of our information. So we can create and add our own logo if you wanted to. If you wanted to create more than one invoice into the future. So I'm going to be creating this. I import this and this is my, basically this is the information about business. Now this is the invoice number. Usually you're going to be creating an invoice with three numbers. So since this is my first invoice, I'm going to go for 001. The date, it will be today. Let's say due on received. And here I'm going to be starting to add the information into my invoice, filling out the invoice details. So belt two, you want to enter your client's email address, the invoice number, we have to do that. You have the due date, the items, the services, the notes and terms. So we're going to be do doing this just with uh, very easily information. For example, we're going to be just typing um, Tech Express BDUs at gmail.com so here i add this new customer now it's going to be popping out this new customer information where you want her to fill all the information about your customers so uh, here it is the item if i once again add a new item it's going to be popping up this new section where i can add a new item so this for example just uh product number one description this is just an example and the price, let's say $1 with no taxes. I save my item and I can just select the new product. How many quantity, how, how, how quantity of course of the item is, say only one, no taxes, here's the description. And now we can add more products if we wanted to. In my case, I'm just going to be adding one of them. Now here we can just type the message to the customer. For example, it's say, hello, this is the invoice of your previous uh, purchase. And we can add terms and conditions if we wanted to or add a reference number. So my reference number should be one, two, three, four, five. And we can add terms of conditions. For example, this is just an example. And here into the price, I can, for example, change this price and leave it like this. Now I can enable the option that says more options where I can add more attachments, for example, like an image, uh, like a file, or I can add a memo to self. In my case, I'm just going to be adding the logo of my company. I open this and there we go. Now what I need to do is to choose the element that says payment options. If you want, you can allow partial payment, for example, recurring payment or allow even tips. Now. With all of this information here into the left, into the right section, we have the subtotal. If you wanted to add a discount, you can add it so. So for example, assuming that the price of this product is $1, I'm gonna be adding 
a 80% of a discount. And there's no shipping. All the remount if you want to add and hit into the option that says send. Now here the invoice has now been correctly sent. And here as you can see, it's the information of the invoice. When I clicked into this invoice automatically, it's gonna be appearing here the invoice. Now we can download out this as a PDF file and we can send this uh, invoice to our customer. So it's gonna be looking a little bit more professional and you can be checking out the invoice created by PayPal. So they can Skype, this can pay and go, and basically that's uh, how you can actually create an invoice. You can create more elements here. For example, you can duplicate the invoice, you can share the actual link on the invoice. If the other client already has PayPal, you can do so much more elements here into in the PayPal. Just go back into the invoices and when the customer makes the payment, here should be changing the status when it says due to paid, and basically that will be actually it. So there we have it guys, a really easy leak way of how we can actually create our very first invoice inside uh, PayPal. So hopefully this was a very useful information for you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel guys. And well, hopefully you can all see you next time.